It's such a nice day out. I'm Margarita of Miltimed Cosmetic Education, and today Iman and I have ventured outside to film an episode on sunscreen. Uh, Margarita, what exactly are you doing? Well, actually, I forgot to put on sunscreen today, so I'm hiding in your shadow. Did you also forget your hat? I did, but wait, I remembered to bring my umbrella in case it rains. My mother has had this umbrella since before I was born. The only reason it survived it lo so long is because she always thought it was too, pr too pretty to use. Well, let's applaud Margarita for doing something about sun protection, because we should at least be putting on an SPF 30 every day. Um, today, we're going to be talking about other things like uh, problems with sunscreen formulations since in our experience, they tend to oil out over time and become comedogenic. Yeah, we did some research to try to figure out why that might be the case. Sunscreen formulations can be broken down into four components. Active ingredients, which include organic or inorganic UV filters, block out the sun's rays. Formulation stabilizers consist of preservatives, thickening agents, and emulsifiers. They help the active ingredients stay in solution and not go bad. Sensory enhancers improve the feel of the formulation for the consumer, such as moisturizers, fragrances, and emollients. Other ingredients may also be added that don't impact sunscreen performance, such as aloe. We've listed several challenges of formulating sunscreens here, but there are many more. Here we highlighted problems like lack of solubility, greasiness, and instability. These problems mainly arise because of the active ingredients or the formulation stabilizers used. As you'll see on the next slide, there needs to be a lot of UV filter in a formula to deliver the right SPF, and that may lead to a greasy product. But people don't want a greasy product. So maybe, I don't know, I'm by far not an expert, there could be sunscreen formulations that don't have a long shelf life because the brand compromised skin feel for stability. Here is an example of a sunscreen formula with SPF 70. That's a lot of ingredients though, because this is a supplier's formula, still not as much as in some finished products. When we group the ingredients by type, we saw that this formula has 30% of sunscreen and photo stabilizer and 9% of what we identified as oil phase. This is right on the cusp of being an oil and water or water and oil emulsion. We can't draw any conclusions from these data though, since this formula may not be representative of all SPF 70 sunscreens, we haven't tried it ourselves, and we haven't studied sunscreen formulating for 30 years. Here are some experiments we carried out on sunscreen formulas we did have in our possession. Here I have four personal care formulas, and I'm going to try to put a blob of each of them onto this baking sheet to see uh, for which of them will the oil spread the farthest. The formulas that I have are the uh, Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream, a Neutrogena sunscreen, that's SPF 60. Uh, a, a sunscreen that's SPF 45 from CVS. And a CeraVe sunscreen that's not in its original container anymore. My hypothesis is that the Neutrogena formula will have oil that spreads the farthest because even though it's quite, I got it quite recently, it's already kind of oily. Here I'm putting a blob of the Laneige Moisturizer. Now the Neutrogena sunscreen. Okay, well that's a clear winner. Yeah. Oiling out before the experiment even begins. Ew. Mm. 
Yeah, look at all the, the oil spread around the the drop of for, of a uh, formula. And finally, this old CeraVe lotion. You can just watch this guy slide back and forth on the oil. Put that on my face. After about 28 hours, you can see that the CeraVe sunscreen has settled and dried out, but there is no oil spread around it. Uh, the CVS sunscreen does have some oil spread around it, you can see it catching the light that was not there yesterday. The Neutrogena one, that, well, that one's just a big mess with the oil spread all over and it's kind of drying out. Now, the Laneige mo moisturizer also looks like it might have oil spreading out from it, but then again, I don't think that's oil because the blob was kind of messy and it's also not as opaque as it was yesterday. So there's probably, um, a good deal of uh, water evaporating here, and that could just be the entire formulation dried out. But I guess the only advice we can give to you is if you do find a non-oily sunscreen, then buy another bottle or two, but not 10 because it will not last that long. And always carry an umbrella. That is not the solution. I'm sure that there is a good sunscreen out there. Give me that margarita.